Once upon a time, in the land of Sagami, a little boy named Kintaro lived in Mount Ashigara. He was a healthy boy who wore nothing but a red waistcoat and ran around the mountains carrying an axe. Mother, I got some wood! Good boy. It's dinner time. Let's eat! Um... <laughs> Kintaro lived with his kindly mother. His father was said to be a red dragon that lived in the sky. Kintaro was friends with the mountain animals. Today, they made a wrestling ring in the field and are having a wrestling match. He's hanging in there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> The strongest of the animals was the great big bear. One by one, he sent the other animals flying out of the ring. And now it's my turn! Don't cry when I send you flying! Ready? Go! <laughs> Next, they had a tug of war. It's all of us against Kentaro now, and we can't lose. Oh. That's it, pull, pull! Heave. You can't do it, pull him back! Kintaro and his friends often had races. Today, they're racing each other to the top of the mountain. <coughs> Wait up! <coughs> All right, we're almost there. Now it's time to really cut loose. Come on, come on, come on, come on, fast, 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 One hot summer day, they went swimming at a pond. Ready, go! While Kintaro was swimming, a giant carp who owned the pond appeared. If it isn't Kintaro, even you can't beat me in the water then. Oh, yes, I can. Well, then, try and catch me if you can. Come on over here. Wait up! He's still on my tail. Rather tenacious, isn't he? Oh, I'm tired. Gotcha! He caught me there! The surprised carp jumped high into the air with Kintaro on his back. Kintaro was also a very kind-hearted boy. When his mother's eyes went bad, he carried her on his back to a spa known to cure eye problems. Kintaro, have a rice ball. It's okay, I'm not hungry. You can eat my share, mother. Along the way, Kintaro carved an image of a child god on a rock with his fingernails. Please cure my mother's eyes. And so his mother's eyes instantly recovered. One day, there was a storm on peaceful Mount Ashigara. Heavy rain fell and a strong wind blew. Even Kintaro couldn't go outside on a day like this. Hey! Everybody, are you okay? Hello? Uh, 
On the mountain, a rabbit was trapped under a fallen tree. Uh, help me! Akintaro! Are you okay? Yes, thank you! Kintaro went further and found some animals trapped on a cliff on the other side of a ravine. The bridge washed out and we can't cross over! Okay, wait there! Ha -ha! Ha -ha! Ha -ha! And so happy days begun again on Mount Ashigara. Then one day, a noble warrior named Minamoto no Yorimitsu was passing near Mount Ashigara. Yorimitsu looked up to see a red cloud floating over the mountain. Wondering what it was, he took three of his soldiers and went into the mountains. What a powerful kid. Uh, um, you, now, what's your name? I'm Kintaro. What do you say, Kintaro? How about wrestling one of my men? Yorimitsu, you must be joking. He's only a child. <laughs> Urabi Sueteka, being careless, was easily thrown out. <laughs> Yorimitsu, I'm next. <laughs> next, Uzi Zadamitsu went up against the boy. He was easily thrown out, too. Next, a big man named Watanaba no Tsuna came forward. All right, Kintaro, try and beat me. <laughs> Watanaba was very strong, and the two were caught in a deadlock. The results are tied, then. Just as Yorimitsu was about to stop them, Kintaro tripped Watanabe. <laughs> ah, then, this kid's a real powerhouse. What do you say, Kintaro? How about being one of my men and coming to the capital? What? The capital? Sorry, but I can't leave my mother all alone. <laughs> and a kind boy, too. <laughs> Yorimitsu went home with Kintaro to talk to his mother. She was surprised at first, but agreed to let Kintaro go to the capital. Ever since you were born, I knew this day would come. The cloud he saw over the mountain was a message from your father in heaven. Kintaro, go and become a great warrior. Yes, mother, I'll do my best. The next day, Kintaro set off for the capital. After that, Kintaro was given the name Sakata Kintoki, and he trained with all his might. Eventually, he joined Yurabi Swutaki, Uzi Sadamitsu, and Watanabe no Tsana to form Shinteno, a band of the four greatest warriors who could vanquish even ogres. Yeah!